All right, everybody, here we go with another episode of Unlocking Your Inner Strength, episode 273. Before I dive into it, first of all, on Facebook Live, if you can't hear me, just tell me, using a new mic, hopefully it works. Second thing, and I'll tell you at the end, you can go to kylenewell.com forward slash manual, get the free fasting manual I have. And uh, I got a cool audio recording I'll be adding to that page this week. Now, a lot of people will uh, tell me their concerns with fasting are that they're not going to be able to function because they're not going to have energy, they're going to get brain fog, hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, you know, however you want to call it. And it's simply not true. Fasting is great for so many things. At at this point, uh, I, I, I don't fast to lose weight or anything like that. Just keep my body healthy. It's more for my brain than anything. And there's actual science that backs all of this up. This is something I'm putting in the next book along with energy pathways with fasting and how to increase energy with things that you can do in conjunction with fasting. Because one of the things you'll notice with fasting, and it has to do with the brain part of it, is your energy should be much better when you're fasting than when you're non-fasting. People think it's the opposite. It is not. In ancient Greece, a time of explosion with, with philosophy and genius-level thought, many of these great philosophers were known to fast for long periods of time, not for health-related reasons. They did this because they wanted to have a sharper brain and have more clarity with their thought and come up with new ideas and new ways of looking at things. And they're on record uh, saying this. So those great thinkers. And if you look at uh, Japanese POWs from World War II, many of them were known, and in Louis Zamperini's book, Unbroken, he talks about this person that could recite books from memory. Now, they were largely fasted because they weren't being fed that often, right? It was very common for prisoners uh, to, to learn a foreign language within a, a matter of weeks. No formal training or anything. They just thought this was normal because it was happening so frequently. It, it's not normal for your normal population, but when you're fasting to that degree, your brain becomes much, much sharper, much better uh, able to retain information. So let's dive into some of the, the benefits. So you have certain hormones that are improved with fasting. Now, just like uh, exercise, there are certain things that can only get to your brain through physical movement. Fasting has the same effect. One of those things is called BDNF. It's a growth factor for your brain. It's basically a fertilizer for your brain. It helps you actually grow new brain cells, create new synapses, neural connections. Really powerful. So think of it as a fertilizer for your brain. It used to be thought that BDNF can only increase through physical movement uh, to get across that blood-brain barrier. But fasting increases it as well. So you actually increase brain cells when you do longer form fasting. So that's one thing. Growth hormone. Growth hormone is a fantastic uh, hormone. Costs a lot of money to get injected with uh, growth hormone or to get growth hormone supplementation. But when they do studies, even when you fast 24 hours, push it to 48 hours, your growth hormone can spike two to 3,000% over baseline. It's amazing. And growth hormone has a very youthful effect on the brain as well. Growth hormone keeps everything young. There's a lot of research too with fasting um, coming about how it could prevent potentially things like Alzheimer's or, or dementia, right? It makes perfect sense when your brain is cleaning out plaques and whatnot because of fasting, and it's also increasing these certain growth factors and hormones to your brain. It's a great thing. Catecholamine, so you got adrenaline, noradrenaline, things like um, or epinephrine, dopamine. All these things are increased to a nice mild level with fasting. They make you much sharper in your thought. They make you much clearer when you speak. They make it 
so you are much more able to connect the dots. When you connect the dots, guess what? You're more creative. So all these things, right? Catecholamines, when we're fasting long periods of time, that's one of the effects. That's also how we have the effect of... Uh, one of the effects as far as increasing energy, increasing metabolic rate, and dropping weight is because this, this flood of catecholamines, but not in a chronically bad way. If you're chronically stressed, that is different. If you're chronically stressed and then you're drinking things like Monster, Bang, jamming all these coffees every day, then that's not what we're after. Okay, that's not what we're looking at. So you got multiple different hormones I just mentioned. Now, another thing I want to mention as well, when insulin is kept lower, they've, they've done this through studies, you have better improvement of your memory when insulin is kept lower. So a lot of people are still surprised when they ask me what I'm doing. I say, I still do my, my, my version of fasting. I still do a longer fast every week and one meal a day. So I eat six or seven times a week. And I feel great. And, and people will comment, hey, you, you know, I haven't seen you in a while. You're looking younger. What this is, when you do something for that long, guys, it has a compound effect. But as far as being uh, mentally sharp in, in memory, and I already had a good memory, but I can tell you with the fasting, it's gotten even better. Being able to recall minute details of stuff, uh, dates and times, all types of, of strange things. The biggest part, though, for me, of fasting that, it, that improves your brain health is just the I will commitment and following through on it and doing something that's a little bit challenging. It makes you mentally tougher. So every week... You get a nice hit of this self-belief in knowing that you're doing something that is too tough for most people to do. Not that they can't do it, but they're so people are so used to being comforted and, and, and caressed and having just uh, being able to eat at any moment they want, which is not a good thing. But it gives you a much better edge and it gives you more mental toughness. It helps build that mental toughness. To get all these effects... That fasting has on your brain, which is really cool and, and really unspoken about. So even if you're not doing fasting for weight loss or health, do it for your brain. Your brain is is is, is your money maker. Your brain is where you can develop skills that can be useful to society. Fasting is the quickest way that you can enhance brain uh, functioning that I know of. And most people, right, they're drinking coffee or whatever to try to become more mentally alert, become mentally sharper. You don't even need to do that. You're going to get a constant hit of the same chemicals that coffee is hitting the adrenal glands for and producing the same neurotransmitters. If you like coffee, that's a different thing. Have it as a comfort food. By the way, I'll be doing a, 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 some content in an episode in late October. I'm going 100 days which I started way back, so I'll end around Halloween. It's actually like 110 days without caffeine of any sort. So uh, I believe I'm about a month into it, so it's pretty cool. So there you have that. Now think about this too. I'll leave you with this because people say, well, I, I got to eat, and, and how does your brain function actually improve when you're fasting? That doesn't seem to make sense. It's just like muscle in the fact that when we fast, it has a very, very uh, preserving effect upon muscle because go back thousands of years, right? And this is some mind map stuff. If you had to go hunt and you had to go gather stuff and potentially fight and battle and you were in a fasted state for two or three days, four days, and your muscle declined, that goes against the very basis for survival. The very thing that would help us to hunt and gather and defend ourselves muscle it's needed for survival. So why would it go away when we fast? It doesn't. And I've talked many times about the hormones, growth hormone being one of them, that, that is very muscle preserving, actually helps us gain muscle while we fast. Second thing about that, if you were to go periods of time without fasting, different theories on why your brain really ratches, it, ratches, uh, ratches up its performance. It's a hard word for me to say right there. You got to think about this. Again, if you went a couple days without food and brain performance declined, that doesn't aid your survival. It doesn't do anything good for your survival. So brain had a, brain function actually had to become sharper when you're in a fasted state. 
Think about the, the hungry wolf versus the, the lion that's just been fed. Which one is more dangerous? When you people say, I'm hungry for something, man, he's hungry to win the championship. It means you're more driven. There's a reason these sayings from ancient times are still around, right, in one way or another. People don't even think about stuff like that. But your brain had to, to be sharp and also to potentially wire it into your, um, your brain that, hey, don't, don't, uh, don't put yourself necessarily in this situation again. So that's one thing as well, too. Like I'm talking, if you had to go a week or so without fasting, even then you're going to have sharp brain function, but then you have new neural connections and new things that are laid down that your brain doesn't want to forget. So these are definitely benefits of fasting for your brain. Remember with the ancient Greek uh, school of thought, fasting for, for knowledge and, and the POWs in, in World War II, the Japanese POWs, the amazing abilities they had to recall memory, uh, books, and to learn new languages while they're in these fasted states. So fasting hits everything. I'm excited to go down more of this avenue with the brain health and fasting. But that's what I got for you today. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the like button. Leave a comment if you so please. And thanks, as always, for your support.